Hello! Today we have a little unusual printer that is not just another boring standard printer, but it's a unique design that looks very interesting. This is the c 2 printer, so let's take a look what makes it so special. The most interesting things about this printer are definitely the linear rails on the X and Y axis and the dual direct drive extruder along with a special hotend that allows dual color printing with very little filament to purge. This is a big advantage over traditional multicolor printers where you lose a lot of filament every time you switch colors due to having to purge the filament. Also with the c 2 there is no need to print a purge tower as the little mixing of filaments means that the transition between filaments can be included in the print and fill so there is no waste during color transitions. The extruder works by having two direct drive extruders that push the plastic into two parts of the hot end, which are joined together within the nozzle, so the space where the plastic would blend together is very small. Each part of the hot end is heated by its own heating element. In addition, the maximum nozzle temperature is 280 degrees Celsius, which makes this technology interesting for those who want to print multi-material. The maximum extruder speed is 200 mm per second, which is very good. The print volume is very nice at 200 by 300 by 300 mm. The printing bed is interesting because it's securely fixed in one position. The material of the bed is carborundum glass with maximum possible temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Getting the models of the bed is sometimes a struggle as you can see. The automatic bed leveling is intuitive and once the printer is assembled it is very easy to start printing. Auto leveling is done by touching the plate with nozzle tip. The printer is controlled by a 4.3 inch color touchscreen TFT display. The options for controlling the printer using the display are very basic. Connectivity is absolutely perfect with USB-C, Wi-Fi and SD card support. Minor drawbacks include the filament holders on the back of the printer, which don't exactly inspire confidence when it comes to holding larger spools of filament. There is also a dual filament sensor on the other side of the printer. The printer has a somewhat retro look to it, mainly due to the color and the old school looking cables. But it's nothing that should compromise the quality of the print, so I will leave it up to you to decide. Other drawbacks include software. The slicer for this printer is called AppStudio and it's a bit cluttered, not intuitive and we didn't achieve good result with it. There are tools in the slicer for coloring models, paint and texture. The technology and design of the printer has certainly come a long way since the days of Kickstarter and the first c 2 3D printer. Overall, it's a great printer. The hardware is excellent and it's definitely interesting. The linear rails on the X and Y axis work perfectly and dual extrusion system is also nice innovation, but its use could be better due to the untuned software. Prints from the included SD card are very good, but you don't probably want to print endless dragons, frogs and tree stumps. As a result, this is a pretty good printer with unconventional approaches that lead to some minor shortcomings. All in all, we look forward to what tier time will come up with next. If you like the printer, there is a link below the video where you can buy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.